Hi everybody, this is Hal Rains. I'm the potter with Parkinson's. And I basically just want to go over a couple things regarding decoration today. Um, we're going to talk about trimming first, and then I'm going to talk, you know, basically the dampness of the piece. Make sure you check the dampness because not all tools work with uh, moist clay the same way. And it does make a difference, really. The results will make a big difference. Um, you will also talk about um, contrasting colors a little bit. Contrast meaning the other side of the color wheel. Complement is adjacent on the color wheel. So, you know, maybe we shouldn't even worry about that one, but something to consider later. Um, we'll talk about carving, well, specifically using um, different tools to carve through uh, underglaze, which basically causes that to be then graffito not necessarily carving at that point. And the technicality is that you're carving through a medium to reveal the clay beneath. Okay, then the pretty much the last thing I'll bring up is that I use a fruit bag, just one of those little nylon kind of a fruit bags to polish the clay once I finish doing with, I, with it what I need to do. And so if you have any questions, you'd like me to do something specifically that may be um, you're interested but haven't done yet, um, you can leave me a message at halreigns at sbcglobal.net and I'd be glad to work on it and hopefully post a video that's going to answer your questions. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Once you've done some trimming, you'll want to tap on the top just to, just to make sure that you're not getting too close to trimming through. That is a bad thing when you've worked a lot and you just cut through the pot. Just about finished using the rib and I'm putting the line in right now that'll help me do this graffito later but I need to do the foot so basically I'm just going to stain it with a contrast color because I like my work to really stand out. I want it to pop when people see it. is a lot of fun. You can use popsicle sticks, you can use melon scoopers, pretty much anything that you want to scrape into the clay with, even skewers, make really great carving tools. When I'm carving large serving pieces, doing things like bowls or whatever, I typically like to join the edges around so it looks like a complete dot. One thing you need to remember guys and ladies is when you're working on a piece like this, um, I've sped it up tremendously so it takes a lot longer than it seems to in the video. Be patient, just be patient with yourselves. It takes a while to learn how to do this well. As I'm working on the carving here, I've used three different tools. Actually, uh, one is a, a zebra tool. That's the one that you saw at the front with a wooden handle. One is a dolan, and it looks like a triangle with a stick on it. And the other one is just a kimber tool. So buy what you can afford. They can be expensive. 
but have fun. Man, have fun.